Good morning, everyone. We just had a, our Q&A live for our seven-day lifestyle reset challenge for B3 Wellness. And I just went to the Witchwood Farmer's Market and I picked up a whole bunch of stuff, all the goods I'm going to need for the broth, almost everything I'm going to need for the smoothies, which I already have. So I'm just going to go through it really quickly and show you what I got. Here we go. Let's see if I can turn this around. Hmm, maybe not. Okay, I might have to turn the whole screen around. Okay, I will. Okay, so here I got some really delicious apples for my snacks. Um, I got, this is last week's parsley, but new parsley, because I love fresh parsley chopped up and put into my broths and my smoothies. I have a celery root here, with which has celery attached to the top, which is amazing. I'm gonna eat these as a snack, and I'm gonna use the greens, whatever, in my soup, as well as the, the root. I'm gonna use on workout days. It's amazing if you just bake it. I'm gonna bake it tomorrow for my meal prep. This is kohlrabi, which is a cousin to broccoli. If you peel it, it's pretty much like a broccoli stem, but really delicious. I'm gonna bake that and put that into my soups as well. These are the leaves from the collars, which I'm gonna use. These are arugulas, fresh organic spinach, my favorite cucumbers from this one farmer. It's like an Asian variety. It's nice and sweet and crunchy. Some leeks for the soup. Parsnips, bunch of carrots. I love these carrots. These ones were the cutest little stubby carrots today. I love the purple ones. They've got really good phytonutrients in it. Uh, beets, workout days. Beets, I use the leaves. I make sure I wash them really well because they can be sandy. Peel these. Sometimes I put them raw into the smoothie. Sometimes I just bake them and put them into my soups. Really like kale. I usually blanch it first and then I use it in my smoothies or I use this as a snack and just saute it with some onions. Yes, parsnips. Okay, here are my bones. Weber's pastured meats. I don't know if you guys can see that. They are a Mennonite farm at the Witchwood Market, and they only feed their bones or their beef grass. So they're grass-fed marrow bones. These are what I'm going to use for Christian and I both. I'm going to be making two batches of them. Um, we got broccoli, fennel, more greens bok choy. These are called pak choy. These are really good in, in the soups on top. I've got some zucchinis, some purple daikon radish. You guys have to see this on the inside. It's amazing. Brussels sprouts and some other sprouts here. Radish and all that goodness. So this is my produce haul for the challenge. This only cost me about 130 bucks for two people. And I have some other stuff, but this is for two people. You don't have to get this much. Christian and I just both really eat a lot of greens, and we're going to be using all this for our snacks and everything. So um, I also have a lot of onions ready to go here in my rack. I've got onions, red onions, shallots, all that ready to go for all the soups and everything. Garlic, more celery root, which I forgot that I had. I guess I have a lot now. And these guys I got last week from the farmer's market. These are small little jewel sweet potatoes. I'm going to use those on workout days for sure and put them in the soups. So essentially that's that. I usually use um, these organic raspberries. I think we ran out of the blueberries upstairs, but we have wild blueberries. These are from Costco. More raspberries. We usually use an avocado, frozen avocado, but we did buy a bunch from Costco. So we have fresh for snacks and then we have the frozen ones from Costco for the smoothies and um, yeah when you make your bone broth tonight or tomorrow you can put them into mason jars if you have more and you store them in your fridge you can freeze them if you want to make for the whole week and just take them out then all you need to do is defrost them warm them up and then add in your vegetables right into the blender and then you just blend it up and you've got your soups you've got your purees you've got your dinner you can do it at the same time as your smoothie so that you're doing, you don't have to clean twice, you literally clean once, you just rinse and then do the other thing. So, yeah, so that was my shopping haul for the challenge. If you guys have any questions, message me. I hope you guys have a really good day, fun shopping, fun time shopping. Check out the emails, we have some food prep videos coming in the emails as well. So, if we didn't cover that already today, we're gonna be, you're gonna be in a lot more content through the emails and the videos, so make sure you're checking your emails before you um, go to bed the night before, okay? So have a great Saturday. I'll talk to you guys again soon and we'll start the challenge on Monday.